Welcome, Francis, to Scotland's Trade Fair Online. And what great designs you have. I just love the different characters. They really seem to have their own personalities. Uh, can I remind anyone in the audience, please, can you put any questions into the Q&A bar at the bottom, which I will then ask to Francis. But Francis, I know you've just launched this, but how has it been launching your business in this year of all years? Um, well, I feel quite lucky, to be honest, because during the first lockdown, I had the chance to come up with the idea for the business um, while sort of homeschooling the kids. But I did lots and lots of walking in the countryside and I guess appreciated the wildlife more than ever. So that was when I came up with the idea. And obviously the inspiration is all the wildlife that we saw, the animals and the plants. Um, so that was fantastic. And also I've had sort of the chance to get to terms with social media and um, start setting up an online shop. So I think that's been good, but it's only now that I'm having the chance to sort of focus on wholesale. And I'm really looking to get um, my work into lots more um, shops. <laughs> yeah. I, and have you always been a designer? I mean, is that one of the things you've always been? Yes, I studied um, 3D design before I then went on to the study applied art. Um, but I focused a lot on printmaking and then um, I moved up to Dundee and did a printmaking course there. Um, so a lot of surface pattern and that's really where all this, the ideas for this has come from. All right, okay, that's great. Um, now, I know you've got such a wonderful range of products. Can you, and you've got some there to show us, can you talk us through the range and, and show us some of them? Yes, of course. Um, so there's, may, there's mainly eight different designs across all the different products. So um, if I can show you this one first, this one is the greeting cards. And at the moment they come in a biodegradable cellophane film, but I'm also looking into a card catch. So um, people can have the opportunity to choose which one they would like. So this one here is um, a bite of midges. Love that, just perfect, yeah. And then we've got a circus of puffins. This one's a bevy of deer. The names are great, they're really good. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Then we've got um, a rabble of bees. Um, this one's a parcel of birds. We've got um, a parliament of owls. Charm of foxes. And then finally, this one is rock pool. So those designs also come in the tea towels. Um, which are all, they are printed onto cotton with a recycled paper band around the middle. So they're digitally printed and I wanted to just show how much detail then the, you can get into the print. Yes. It's a huge amount of detail. So, and the cotton's really, really nice and it's nice a heavy cotton for the tea towels. What's, um, the, tra what's the trade price for the tea towels? The £5.25. Oh, okay. Yeah. So most of the products um, have got a 2.4 markup for the wholesaler. There is a few that have a times two markup, but generally it's 2.4. Yeah. Um, then I've got cushions, and this is actually another design. The cushion covers are printed onto velvet, which is really super soft. It's um, polyester velvet, so it means it doesn't crease, and also it's washable. So this one features more of the unusual Scottish animals. It's got the capercaillie, um, it's, getting, it's got the midgie, and it's got the Scottish wildcat, as well as puffins and thistles. Um, the cushion covers come wrapped up like this. So it, the Highland design comes in the light teal and also the blush pink, and it comes with the um, the string and also the label there. One of my sort of best sellers is the notebooks and they come in A6 and A5. The A6 notebooks come as a set of five. So again, it's got the band around. These are all printed on to recycled paper using a new technology with um, eco inks. So these are the five designs that you get in the pocket notebooks. And then the A5 notebooks come in six different designs, which I've got here. Lovely, yeah. Okay, again, really nice and bright and colourful. And a new product that I've just got out as of yesterday is a set of 10 postcards. 
So again, they come with a band around the middle and they've got the eight, the main eight designs, but also they've got the design on the Highlands and on the back, it's just there. It's got the postcard with a Taminari sign ready to be written. So great to send to, to everyone just like that. Um, so yes, yeah. perfect. <laughs> really great, so really lovely products and the colours just really show out as well. Um, but what can you give us, tell us a bit about what unique selling point is it and, and what, especially with the animals and things? Well, all, all my designs are hand drawn and um, it takes a lot of sketching to, you know, I've, I've got a, a style that I guess makes all my products quite unique in the way that I draw them and then I work on them digitally quite a lot, adding the colours and the layouts. But I think, I mean, I use a lot of the sort of quite well-known Scottish animals like the puffins and the deer, but also I think I use a lot of the more unusual ones like um, like the biter midges and also with the capicales and some of the more unusual plants that you get in Scotland feature on, on, on my designs. Yeah, I think, and the bite of midges, I think it's just fantastic. I mean, the midge is so prevalent at the moment in Scotland that, yeah, it's, it's great. Yes, oh yeah. <laughs> do, do they particularly appeal to, to tourists or as locals as well? Have you found that anybody likes them and anybody, everybody buys them? I think they've, they've appealed to both. Um, in Scotland, particularly the midges and the puffins are really popular, but in, in England and particularly in America, they seem to love the bee design. Um, it's very popular. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, it's great. And I know you've been selling a lot online. You're a very new company, but you've been selling um, online. But you said you did have a few stockists as well. Do you know? Yes. Um, well, since I've actually entered this competition, I've got um, eight um, people have inquired and seven have already put orders in. So that's been really fantastic. Um, well I've got awesome. um, um, stockists around Scotland, but obviously looking for quite a few more. There's only I've only got one in England at the moment. So it's mainly in Scotland. Yeah, right. And um, abroad, so uh, any overseas people listening to this, certainly worth um, getting stockists in there. Yeah. Um, yes. <laughs> you, you can also, I know you can do a bit of bespoke. Can you give us any examples of anything? Somebody wanted something specific. Um, can you do a specific design? Yes, I would absolutely love to do any bespoke work. So if anyone had any ideas to chat over or you wanted any gifts or homeware making, then I would be really, really keen to, to do that. Right, great. Now, and I've, we've seen some of your packaging, which is great that it's all very sustainable. Do you offer any point of sale, especially for the cards, or do they just you do they just come just as they are? Um, well, at the moment, I've I've left it really up to the galleries and shops how they want to display it. But a few um, people have asked for just a blurb about the company, and um, so I've got that available to print out if people want to display it. But um, I'm really leaving it in terms of whether they put them all together or just put them around the shop up to the galleries. But obviously, if anyone had any ideas, then I could help any way they wanted. Right. right. Okay. And um, you've talked about some of the pricing. What I don't think you talked about the pricing on the you talked about the, the the cards or the cushions. Could you tell us a bit about the trade pricing on the cards and the cushions? The um, cards are one pound twenty five, um, and the pack of the ten. Postcards is, so I'm just looking at my wholesale price, is I think that's £2.50 for the pack of 10 postcards. Um, the A5 notebooks are £1.65 and the set of the five notebooks is £3.75. So all of these are looking for a 2.4 markup for the wholesaler. The cushion covers, these um, are fifteen pounds, so that one's one of the ones that's times two, really, for um, what I was for the wholesale oh. price. Yeah, and they come without the cushion pad, is that right? Yes, they come without the pad. They just come packaged like this. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. And what about lead times? Um, I mean, yeah, I know you design it yourself, but it's made. Are they made in Scotland? The products. Um, so the packaging is made in Scotland, but a lot of the products are printed in England. Right. Okay. And then the lead. What, so, do, what's the lead time if somebody put in an order? What would be? Well, like? um, I've got most of the products in stock, so it's really fast. Just in between, sort of one to three days, um, I've been sending them out at the moment. Um, if it comes that there's anything I don't have, I would obviously alert anyone to that and send it on as soon as it was available. But I have got all the products in stock. Yeah. And if you had to re reorder anything, you can turn. It can be turned around quite quickly, can it? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh well, that's good. Um. 
Also, um, what are the products? You said mentioned the tea towels are from um, cotton. Is it are they all fairly sustainably sourced? The the original products. Yes, all the materials I use are organic. Um, I've got a new range that I was going to talk about coming out, um, which is going to be, is that okay to measure? Yeah, that's fine. I was just about to ask, that was my next question, because actually some oh. of the audience has asked that, what's the plan to increase your range of products? So talk about the new product, yeah. The, the, the new, I've got a new range that are going to be coming out on organic linen, and you know, the, a linen is a very sustainable material to work with because it doesn't use much water and there's no chemicals in the process at all to turn the flax into the linen. So it's a very sustainable material. Um, the new products that I've got is a range of table mats, coasters, um, table runners, and napkins, all in organic linen. And there's gonna be three different designs available. So just to show, this isn't the example because I was hoping that I would have got them, but I haven't received them yet. So the one of the designs is going to be the rabble of bees. So this will be available in the napkins and the tea towels and the table runners and the coasters. And then the other design is going to be the parcel of birds. Lovely. And my design that I'm just working on at the moment is going to be a Christmas design, but it's not so Christmassy that you can't use it the rest of the year. So this one's actually gonna have the, if you can see it, but it's gonna have the natural linen color in the background. And it's a lot of fine detail of, it's called holly and ivy, but it's also got a lot of eucalyptus and Christmas seeds sort of flowers and plants. But again, I mean, it could be used all year round. So that's the example of the placemat and the table runners, obviously it's gonna have a lot more of them kind of flowing along. The napkin is going to be more zoomed in. So it's just a closer up of all the different plants and flowers and, and there'll also be a Christmassy card <laughs> oh great and when are these going to be available then so they should be available um within a month or so right okay so yeah it's great oh well Francis I think your products are really great they're just so fresh and contemporary which is is really nice thank here. you <laughs> anything else that you'd like to add that we haven't talked about yet um no I think you've mentioned everything yes. that's yeah. <laughs> very clear and very, um, very informative. So I think it's just great for a lot of stockists. It can appeal to ones all over the, all over the UK and beyond, I think, um, because they're very versatile and, and just say, just very nice and colourful. They certainly appeal to, to consumers. You're selling online, I presume, at the moment uh, anyway. Yes. yes uh -huh. Exactly. Oh, well, thank you so much, Bryce. It's been really, really interesting having you on board here today. Um, I hope we'll see you at the show in the not too distant future. Um, next up, we've got Alison Zupeski from Galloway Melts. She's going to be at 11.30. Um, but before we go, we're going to have another look at your video. Um, and thanks again, Francis, and all the Thank you. With the whole company and everything. Thank you very much.